for the longest time, Steam's game mode or game scope uh, only worked on AMD graphics cards. But uh, in June, NVIDIA released drivers that now support Wayland uh, as a display compositor. So what that means um, for game mode, since it runs on Wayland, is that if you have an NVIDIA card, as long as you update your drivers, you should be able to use game mode. Now, the Nobara project has a Steam version just casually placed on their website here for NVIDIA graphics cards, and it is the Steam version. You can see it's made for HTPCs. It is important to note that you might have to disable your integrated graphics and rely solely on your GPU to render your display and everything. So my PC uses a Core i3 12th gen. As you can see, it's the 12th gen i3. Um, and you see that F at the end. So there's no integrated graphics and everything is running on my 1060. Um, there are a few requirements for how new your card has to be. Obviously, you still need to be able to update it as far as graphics drivers go. But as long as you have a somewhat recent NVIDIA card, you should be all right. So I'm in desktop mode right now, but if I want to, I can go over here to game mode. And just like a Steam Deck, it'll do this whole shutdown thing with Steam. And this screen right here is normal. I'm pretty sure that would normally be just the Steam Deck logo because it'll flash for like a couple seconds before it actually goes into game mode. But it does play the little animation that it does. Yeah, there it is when it goes into game mode. And then I just have my controller connected here so I can just do that. And it's based off of big picture mode, but it's not big picture mode because if I pull up the quick menu or the quick access menu, I've installed plugins or one plugin, Decky Recorder. So if I wanted to, I could also go to the store and just download more. You know, you've got the whole, what is it like? I think there's like 50 <laughs> plugins in the, in the store right now. There's not, oh, 69, okay. There's a total of 69 plugins you can get but you know that it's not big picture mode because you would not have that plugin menu. But I'm just gonna quickly show you, yeah, you can see I'm using game scope. I'm just gonna go into the settings so I can show you exactly what it looks like when you have it open um, under system, which is back at the top. So I'm just gonna show you my hardware again so you know I'm using actual NVIDIA and Intel technology. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, yep, there's my 12th gen Core i3 and then there's the 1060. <laughs> so if you want, you can update your NVIDIA drivers, and then you should be able to install game scope or game mode if you have an, like an, a regular installation of Nobara or Arch or whatever. They're built in with Nobara, so it made it really easy just to install Nobara on this system. But like I was saying earlier, you probably will have to disable integrated graphics. I tried doing the exact same thing on my laptop which uses Optimus technology since it's an NVIDIA and Intel combination. Um, but I haven't been able to get it to work. I was able to blacklist the Intel integrated graphics, but it doesn't really use NVIDIA for anything, I guess. But it has the drivers because I've obviously got it working here. <laughs> I just haven't figured out how to switch to them yet. So have fun running Steam game mode on NVIDIA hardware, just like the good old days of the old SteamOS.